In your meditation today, I tried to bring in the spirit of Diwali. But the deeper message that Diwali holds out to us is you are the light of Diwali. Not a day as you, you, you light on the outside. They're symbolic. Because wherever you put a light, the darkness automatically disappears. Whenever truth appears, ignorance simply goes, which shows ignorance has no reality. It's just the absence of light. When you think that black is a color, black is the absence of light. The material cannot reflect anything, so it's black. Ignorance is the absence of light. But the essence of the valley, the meaning of the valley, the truth of the valley, is that you are that light that you worship. And how do you become the light? By uncovering it. By entering into it. By recognizing it. By giving it importance. That's how you come into the light. If you make the world more important, if you make this changing illusion more important than the light within you, how will you uncover it? Because wherever your mind goes, that becomes your reality. <laughs> oh my goodness. Our world is so immersed today in selfishness, in ignorance. In terms of the gunas or the qualities of prakriti or the qualities of nature, we are governed in this cosmic age or period by ignorance, tamas, and ego, rajas. And sattva, which is the light, is in minimum. Sattva is a growing quality through this cosmic period of yoga. So it's a period to align yourself to the light. Stay in the light. And detach from the darkness. Don't Make it your reality. My God, how many people are after money, after pleasure, after secular power? <laughs> that is not the spirit of Diwali. And they're all celebrating Diwali in their own way, praying for more wealth. <laughs> Mother Lakshmi is the giver of wealth. So they, they, well, of course, it's the energy of wealth. So they're all doing their pujas or the prayer to Mahalakshmi. <laughs> but the mistake they make is Mahalakshmi really dwells within their own hearts. And if only they would open that heart so that she can manifest in and through them as the spirit of goodness and charity, harmony, our world would be so different. But they are worshipping Mahalakshmi outside rather than inside their being. Interesting, isn't it? That we all have it topsy-turvy. The light that is within, we light a dia and we honor it. It's nicer when the inner light manifests, then the outer light is more beautiful. When the inner light manifests of charity, of goodness, of kindness, of compassion, everything that you want or even seek for or even think of in the external world comes to you naturally. Do you want to labor in the ignorance or do you want to just allow it to come to you? If you manifest the spirit of Diwali, if you manifest the light of Diwali, which is truth and goodness that drives away all darkness of ignorance and injustice, our world needs the light of Diwali. Our whole country is on holiday tomorrow. 
And tomorrow actually is the, the day of celebration. Of course, it's the entire week. So how we have the message all wrong. Here in the center, we celebrate Diwali every day. We celebrate the light every day. In our meditations, in our prayer sessions, in our activities, we celebrate light, not darkness. We honor the light, not darkness. We look up to the masters of the light who can give us that initiation that brings out the light within us. And when we light the earth, there's a difference. We pray for the world. That may every heart be lit up with the light of the valley. We pray for the world. And we make our actions exemplary. That all our actions are filled with the light. The light of kindness, the light of charity, the light of compassion. And it comes out naturally, because when you live in the light, these qualities are natural to you. How are you going to celebrate Diwali? How are you going to celebrate Diwali? By eating the food that is cooked. With all this celebration of music and ceremony, is it bad? Entertainment? Or is it meditation? Is it charity? When you feed on that day, when you offer food, you offer it from the kindness and goodness of your heart to those who need the food. <laughs> More so. My goodness, what a world. We have lost the spirit. We celebrate in ignorance, not in wisdom, not in truth. If only you can understand this beautiful pillar of light that is inside of you. That lights up the body. When that pillar of light enters the body, the body lights up with the pranas, the life force. And when that life force leaves the body, the body is nothing but a corpse, matter. Dust to dust, ashes to ashes. And when you center in the light, When you begin to resonate with the light, O oh death, where is thy sting? Can it touch me? You live in the body of immortality. Mrichunjaya, victory over death. So as you celebrate Diwali, <laughs> don't wait for the calendar date. Don't wait for the calendar date. Every moment of every day should be lived in the spirit of Diwali, in the spirit of truth, in the spirit of love, in the spirit of charity, kindness, compassion. Live in the spirit of Diwali. It's a dark yoga. Observe the darkness and observe the pull of materialism. of wanting to hoard the idea is that when you become charitable, you become liberal, more comes to you. The more you hoard, (laughs) the less happy you will be because you'll be totally insecure. A lot of fear. Somebody would steal this. It may go to the wrong people. Now, when you live in truth, when you live in freedom, when you live in the light, when you're anchored in the light, 
you live in joyfulness, fearlessness, in divine flow. That is the spirit of Diwali. I hope that you will embrace it. Where there is light, there is no darkness. Where there is joy, there is no sorrow. Where there is peace, there is no disharmony. Where there is kindness, compassion, there is no bitterness, animosity, and hate. Seek the light. Live in the light. Embrace the light. Reach out to uncover the light. You are the light. And you are the light of the valley. So enjoy this magnificent Sunday. Happy Diwali, everyone. Shum. Namaskar.